In the wake of the mortgage meltdown, California has become the virtual foreclosure capital of the United States. Because half of the Filipino population in the U.S. reside in California, and because home ownership is high on the list of priorities of Filipino families, our community has been among the most severely affected by the crisis. How are Filipinos coping? There are no available data on the foreclosure of homes owned by Filipinos, but the cities that have been most affected are known to be Pinoy enclaves. In Northern California, these are the counties of Solano, Contra Costa, Sacramento, San Joaquin, and San Mateo. Northern California, we have Vallejo, we have Daly City, we have Stockton, Merced, Fresno is severely hit severely hit there that's one of the hardest hit areas in the foreclosures the mabuhay alliance a non-profit community organization based in san diego and nafa the national federation of filipino american associations have been jointly conducting foreclosure prevention and loan modification workshops to help filipino families who are threatened with the loss of their homes the nafa region aid is involved with helping our Filipino community in providing uh, foreclosure prevention programs, uh, the clinics especially. We've already presented three of them to our Northern California Filipino communities. We are in uh, coalition with the Mabuhay Alliance as well as other organizations to facilitate these clinics. These clinics are free to the Filipino community and others who have issues with their home ownership with their homes. But the economic crisis has been so severe that the workshops have only managed to help a small percentage of homeowners. Meanwhile, Filipinos account for a large percentage of foreclosed homes. It, it is unfortunate that the results have been not as good as we were expecting. Uh, according to the, uh, the reports, that maybe at the most 10% of the loans that have been modified have, uh, have been approved. For modification. There may be one bright ray in this otherwise dim scenario. The extended family system observed by Filipinos has meant a strong support system for those who are in financial distress. Filipino families who lose their homes can often count on relatives to take them in. It is unthinkable for Pinoys to just sit back and watch their loved ones get thrown out into the streets, at least not as long as they can help it. But the crisis isn't over and Filipino families will continue to be badly hit.